jokes, fun videos, educational videos that you see on TikTok. You look at Instagram and you're like, I see life dating. I see life dating. Aye. Never third. Never third. There is nothing okay about being a 17-year-old with a 35-year-old or a 40-year-old. Nothing. Because of the rise of wokeness, because of the rise of owning yourself and owning your truth, we need to condone shitty behaviors? Absolutely not. Never third. Or, 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 or a video of Munahau and post it. Never that. But a man that's going to take you on trips like a skittles. Every time you get into a plane, you get onto it so often that it's just like, it's a nothing. You're sitting in first class, you're doing this. Meanwhile, when... Don't you feel how you're sleeping on bricks? It's like hard. It's like cook, 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 cook. There's an indentation. <laughs>
mm -mm. I would rather do all my work, brand work, whatever it may be on TikTok because there's something about TikTok that makes you feel like you're a human. You're a normal human being. This business out in Jali, Tamale Haru, can I go Instagram, Tamale with perfecti, do you want to make up? Your hair must be on pointy, you must be wearing the latest designer items, you must be traveling, listen, you must be living in the sky, traveling constantly, just country to country, just this. Nah, TikTok came through and said, fuck that, no, e, ay, never third, never third, kapagi maka, maka aka aka, exactly. Here's another thing about social media, especially TikTok. Especially TikTok. Now we're coming for TikTok. <laughs> now we're coming for TikTok. TikTok has perpetuated, right, and shown shitty behaviors, especially in young people, and made it seem like it's okay. There is nothing okay about being a 17-year-old with a 35-year-old or a 40-year-old. Nothing. But platforms like TikTok and social media has encouraged this kind of conversation that you know what, you can live your best life, you can do whatever you want to do with whoever you want to do it with, whether you're 15 and they are 40. They're old enough to be your dad. But hey, it's okay. <laughs> Now we're seeing little videos of young kids busy kissing on 36, 37, 38 year olds and everybody's just like, yeah, when I show me, yeah, when I show me, I mean, it's your life, you can live. Oh, blazer girl, you're a blazer girl or a blazer boy. And here you are sitting, having relationships. No, you like older men. What do you even know? What do you even know about relationships and love and all of this at 16? So now we need to ex understand, Hori, you know, because of TikTok, because of the rise of wokeness, because of the rise of owning yourself and owning your truth, we need to condone shitty behaviors? Absolutely not. Never third? Ah, uh, what a far, no man. Ah, uh, eh. Uh, oh, uh, what? What? It's a nothing. It's a nothing. Literally, you can catch me two streets outside with that because umwana, utsibang. What do you know? What do you know? My gosh, the, the sad story about the young girl who passed, and not, she didn't pass, about the young girl who was assaulted by these young boys, these 16, 17 year old little rats that then go on to TikTok and talk about how, yeah, no, it's just that, oh my God, no, no, no. They actually flaunt. The fact that they literally assaulted a young girl. They want to get away with it. They have excuses. They have reasonings. They have this. This is unacceptable. Why are you even picking up the camera, switching it on, and going on live and actually saying that, yeah, no, no, it's just like, uh, it's just like, shush your mouth. You're a child. What do you know? Listen. Unpopular opinion, and some of y'all are gonna get mad about this, but it's fine. You know, it's all love here. We don't mind. It's fine. Get mad, get angry. When you're ready, let's have a conversation. Do not post your man on social media. Unless you want to look like a clown. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> <laughs> don't post your man on social media be proud about it because you're gonna look like a clown you're gonna look like a clown i'm a dog that deserve and nothing nothing they should not be posted on social media because you are going to look like a Popeye of note once that is done once that is done you're gonna look like a Popeye of note if you're 16 and he's 35, actually post him on social media. Show people that this guy is a groomer. Show people that this guy is a predator. Show them. Yeah. If you're 16. But if you are just an everyday lovely lady and you want to post your relationship on social media, <laughs> your man, post pictures of your man on social media and be proud about it. Girl, please. 
And you take it easy. Take it easy. Don't do that. Don't do that. Bona. Mukipte in the pictures here. Yeah. Mukipte with your friends and your family. Them know them. Mukipte the asshole. Usi kewa. Usi ke ukekebe. Ukekebe. Usi ke one tas. Nepe someone now. Senepe. Or 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 a video of Munahau and post it. Never that. Here's another one. Many people, many, many people have very strong opinions. And they go on to social media and they post these extremely strong opinions on social media but lack critical thinking. On a little opinion, or this person is in a relationship with somebody who's old enough to be their dad, and you want you have an opinion on it. But when you say your opinion, you are lacking critical thinking. You're not thinking, or no, this could mean this, or this means this, or you can do it like this, or this, this, this. You just want to say. You just want to have an opinion for the sake of having an opinion. You can have an opinion for the sake of having an opinion if you're talking about this top is not white, it's peach, it's apricot. Fine, have that opinion. But if you're going to have an opinion on something that is political, or socio-economical or whatever and lack the critical thinking to back that opinion up, you have a problem. And I think a lot of the time on social media, that is the issue. That is the issue. Then you have people like men who are going to come on here and tell me on TikTok, yeah, that's not, that's why you're not married. That's probably why you can't have any kids because you feel like this, 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 sir. Back it up. Back it up. If you say, oh, I can't have kids, back it up. Where are your receipts? Mm? If you say, oh, that's why I'm not married, back it up. Are you sure I was never engaged before? I just chose not to engage. No, back it up. You cannot just sit here and have opinions and not back it up by facts or some kind of form of critical thinking. Get out of here. Please, man. And then we'll go back to our longest ass. Come back. The thing like I want to add on to that is that because it's messed young people up, social media has become less for critical thinking and just for vibes, bro. It's just for vibes. I was just on social media for vibes, bro. <laughs> Ah. Even though you want to talk about the fact that emotional labor is this, 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 and whatever. But I'm just talking about it for vibes. I'm just talking about it because it's trending. I'm just talking about the fact that uh, uh, so-and-so had a breakup and whatever. But just for vibes. You know, just because it's trending. Really? Back it up. Whatever it is that you're going to say or you want to say, back it up by something. Ay, wey, na. Sabuwa fela, eh, talibala. <laughs> your friends knowing little to nothing about your private life is a very good thing. Little to nothing. And I'm talking about just the daily shenanigans, just the shenanigans that happen between you and your partner. The fights, the squabbles, the on off, the this, this, blah, blah, blah. If you want to share certain critical things with your friends that you feel like your partner might be, you know, uh, grooming, you feel like your partner might be abusing you, you feel like what, 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 you're reaching out to your friends for help, that's a different story. However, with daily things, the fact that you and your partner were fighting over the last little bit of milk this morning, now you want to share it with your friends. He's so selfish. He's so selfish. Can you imagine? He didn't even leave me the little bit of milk that was left in the morning. He just drank it and left. Why? 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 <sighs> the little to nothing that they know, the better, my darling. The better. You really do not have to share everything with your friends, especially when it comes to your relationship. Just stop, bro. Don't. Don't. Why are you doing that? Don't do that. Don't do that. The little to nothing. Sure. The little to nothing that they know, the better. The better. All right. Don't be mad at me.
don't be mad at me. You really don't know. You truly, truly don't know whether they are your true and real friend until you need their support, until you need them because you are in a dark place and seeing how they'll react. Until then, they are acquaintances. They're people that you hang out with. You enjoy casual, casual friendshipication, but you really, truly don't know that they are really, truly your friend until you need their support, until you need their help, until you need them to help pull you out of a dark place or walk with you through that journey of your dark place. Until then, you truly don't know if they're your friend, friend. Nah, bro. It's just casual acquaintances, meeting up every now and again, you know, have a good time, all of this, blah, blah, blah. Until then, that's why I say it. I say it all the time. I say it all the time. Do not throw out the term friend or lover or partner or whatever like it's Skittles. I see the romantics, I see the Cadbury, I see, I see, it's not sweets. Don't throw out terms like that, like it's a nothing. Oh yeah, that's my friend from Parktown, oh my god, yeah. Oh my god, yeah, that's my friend, we went to school together. Meanwhile, you didn't even take any classes together. Any classes, nothing. That person isn't your friend. They're not. Don't go around throwing terms like friends and lovers and whatever, whatever, all willy-nilly, pish posh. What do you mean? What do you mean? You only need to go through a certain thing, a certain moment with a friend of yours to be able to say, like a difficult moment, to be able to actually say that that's my friend. That's a true friend. Let me tell you something about men who have children and then use terms like babysitting when it comes to their children. Men who let their lady go out to you know they they just they just sit and they chill with their baby while the mama of the baby has gone out to get her nails done or gone out with her girlfriends or whatever whatever and they sit and then the moment she comes back they're like oh yeah you don't want to how take your kid i'm done babysitting your your kid men like that do not see themselves as the primary caregiver of their child i mean uh, i mean i mean i mean when in actual fact, the mother and the father are the primary caregivers of those children. But men who are going to sit and say that, no, um, I'm tired of babysitting your child. Take your child. Take your child. At least I allowed you to go out for a couple of hours. You allow? You allow? You allowed? A man who's going to sit and say that he was babysitting his own children while the mother had to go out and run some errands and actually have some me time, go out with her friends, go get her nails done, do her hair, whatever, whatever. And you actually use the term babysit with your own children. On a problem. You actually do not view yourself as the primary caregiver of that child. You don't. When are you just like, listen, I'm here for the meantime. Uh, but the real parent here is you. <laughs> are they not your children too? How are you using the term babysit with your own kids, bro? Get out of here. Now I'm saying, no, just get out of here, please, man. Let's be honest about this. Let's be honest. Men seem to struggle a lot with women who have a high sex drive. Yeah. <sighs> If she can put it down round after round and keeps wanting more and more and more a high sex drive, the men have a problem with that. They struggle with that. No, I'm tired. No, give me five minutes. No, I just need a moment. Men seem to have a really, really serious issue with women who have a sex drive. And then they turn it around on the women. They turn it around on the women. Oh, right, where, nah? 
Hi, Kante, hi, hi. Okay, no king, Kante, we're not today. Okay, no king. I just want to have a sagas. I just want to have a sagas. What is the problem? I want to keep going. No, five minutes, five minutes. And then they turn it around and make it seem like to them it's just so emasculating. So emasculating like they can't keep up. So you can't keep up. If you can't keep up, you can't keep up. Since then, get. You can't keep up. But they seem to have some sort of issue all the time with women who have a high sex drive. They just don't understand how women can have such a high sex drive higher than theirs. Why? Um, social media. Many men and women, but mostly women in this case, take on the feminism badge when they actually really don't know what feminism is. They think that feminism is a war against men. They think that feminism is women saying that, you know what, we don't wanna, this, 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 it's a fight against men. That is not what feminism is. What I must do? It's not what feminism is. They don't even understand that in the concept and the term and the ideology of feminism, men too can be feminists. They don't get it. How's a man a feminist? Only women can be feminists. Really? Men can be feminists. Because those men believe in the rights of women being equal to that of their own. But no. Many women come onto the social media spaces, go off, do a whole entire TikTok channel page where you're talking about feminism. But you're attributing it to it being a war against men. It isn't. Oh, women are going to be mad at me for this, but it's fine. <clears throat> a lot of women. Today I'm going to make cock. In other words, I'm going to make shut. A lot of women are not qualified for the kind of man that they want. Ngutu. Ngutu maditab. Masabata. Sit back. It's 2024. A lot of women are not qualified for the men that they want. <sighs> not the men that they need, but the men that they want. Do you understand? And I'm not just talking qualified in the sense that you need to be educationally qualified, high IQ, whatever. No, 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 not just that. Even just emotionally, even just uh, 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 psychologically, even just relationally, even just transactionally, they're not qualified for the men that they want. No. Busy wena, obata a man that has a G6, obata a man that has a Rolls Royce, obata a man that's gonna take you on trips like a Skittles. Every time you get into a plane, you get onto it so often that it's just like it's a nothing. You're sitting in first class, you're doing this. Meanwhile, wena. Wena. When not qualified for that kind of man. Sorry. No offense. Don't come for me. But it's the truth. If you're going to sit here and say, we have standards, we have preferences, we have this. That's fine. That's fine. Do your inward deep dive. Do your shadow work. What are you? What are you bringing to the table? Are you qualified for that kind of man? Are you qualified for that kind of man? Aritz. This one actually irks me so much. Why don't we talk about how men have such a great time with their male friends than they do with us, their partners? <laughs> <laughs> Let's say it. Let's say it. They have the absolute best time. Have you seen these videos? 
how when they go on these little guy staycations or guy, you know, shot left, say, how they're just having a great time. They're dancing, they're, they're swimming together. They're just happy. His smile is here. Oh, his smile is here. His smile is running here. It's not stopping here. It stays running here. Oh, the way I'm happy. Why? That person never smiles like that with you. But he will definitely smile like that with his friends. He's the comedian in his friend group. He's the one who's like loud and vocal and just free man, open, free. Does he do that with you? Nope. Sorry, Linda. <laughs> he doesn't do it with you. <laughs> he does it. It's so freaking annoying. Why do men? Why? Why? Why are they so nice and lovely and just have the best time when they're with their male friends? Why? I I'm going to need you to have that best time with me too, bro. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Jesus, you are nothing. Nothing. Um, let's see. The six-pack, eight-pack muscle manga. Hey, the mendingo, the duck. The, the duck men quickly become unattractive the older you get. Fast. For many of us, we just want to lie on the chest of our Pontono, who's got a little bit of a tummy, little bit, not, okay, little bit of a tummy, he's got a little bit of more meat on him, man. Robert Udima, Udima, that tight chest, that, 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 those abs. <laughs> the older you get, you appreciate the little jabba jabba. Literally, men and women, both sides, bro. The older you get, you appreciate that little. I ma, maybe not men. I men always want that. Anyway, you appreciate the little jubs jubs. You know, you appreciate the little fullness that they have that shows who they're a grown man. They're grown. They've been on this earth for a long time. Don't you feel who you're sleeping on bricks? It's like hard. It's like cook, 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 cook. There's an indentation. <laughs> Could you imagine? There's like an indentation between each pack. And then you lay your head on there. It's just like, ah, bro, come on. <laughs> come on, come on. What is this? You're lying on the end. Then it's just hard. Get the pole. It's a potato here. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you get to a certain age, it's just not attractive. It's just not. It's just not. Uh, it's not. Uh, okay, I'm smarter. Come on. No, no, prudy. No, Prudy, it's not a cute look. It's not a cute look. Once you get to a certain age, you don't care a damn. You really just don't care about those kinds of things. All right, so that's pretty much it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, thank you so much. Give it a like, subscribe, comment. Let me know if you want me to keep doing unpopular opinions. Please repost, reshare, take clips of the video so that I can see them online. I get so, so, so happy when I see you taking little clips of the video, uh, of the fav your favorite parts in the video it makes me just so so happy thank you so much for choosing me over and over again as i always do say until then i'm gonna go and i will see you in the very very next video until then sayonara